Cobra and Jedi. So sorry that happened. There should have just been one full last episode at Riku, but uh, the capture want to act weird. I feel like after every one, I should just restart the computer because it seems to be what the issue is. If it goes on for a little too long in one day or one sitting, it does that. But um, for those who stuck through it, thank you. Um, for beating Ansem, if I, I, I may have. I don't know if I'll do it or not. I did record the rest of the fight, even though it was getting messed up. Um, so I, I may upload that. I may, not, I may see if it's even worth it. It was like five minutes, maybe less than or whatever it turns out. But anyway, let's finish it up before more stuff starts breaking and everything. Here you go. We'd be an answer. Insolent threat! <laughs> Handsome! This is the end. This is hardly the end. Your darkness. I gave it all to you. My dark shadow lingers someday. Someday, I will return! Sora. Kyrie. Gosh, Riku, I know you wanted to do this alone. Our boy here to save us again. Help, do ya? So, Riku, what happens next? Are you going home? I can't go home. Not yet. It's still here. It's really faint, but I can sense him. So, I think his darkness may still have a hold on me. Your darkness belongs to you, just the same way your light does. Up till now, I thought darkness was something that should never exist. Then, I spent time with you and changed my mind. The road you chose, I didn't know. Light and dark, back to back. With you, I think they might meet in a way nobody's seen before. Wonder where that road leads. I'd like to see myself. Huh? I'd like to walk the road with you. <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm really flattered. I don't know what to say. Gosh, Riku, you know you don't have to call me that now. We're pals. Fair enough, Mickey. What are you making me choose now? Between the road to light and the road to darkness. Neither suits me. I'm taking the middle road. Do you mean the twilight road to nightfall? No. It's the road to dawn. Oh, there we go. Let's lower that a tad. There we go. You can still hear over me. 
Wow. Um, yeah. I really hate that the capture messed up. Kind of my fault. I should have done it. But I was like, hey, I got one more episode here. I'm good. <sighs> so I actually really did screw with it because I'm running out of time for today. Uh, I probably won't be able to do King Parts 2. I have to wait till tomorrow. And even then, I'm for three soon. <sighs> we beat it. Like I said, this is just uh, Riku's uh, story was just, I mean, amazing. I mean, that's, that's kind of how I kind of view it. But, you know, especially with all the, uh, you know, character development he got. Oh, man. We did it. I really, 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 really wish I could have gotten through one more game. But like I said, I started this in November. I double-checked in between. If I started one month earlier... Actually, if I started right when I got back from New York Comic Con, I definitely could have done it. Because I'm done with one in Chain of Memories now. I definitely would have been able to have time to record uh, days. I definitely would have had time to do two, because that's like a whole extra. Maybe not finish two, but get through most of two. Um, and at that point, I would have had one Chain of Memories days, most of two. And then even though I'm not talking during it, <laughs> you, Miyazaki, you. <laughs> um, even though I, I'm not talking during it, I have 0.2. So really, the only games I would be missing would be Birth by Sleep, Coded, the Union Cross movie, the key back cover, and Dream Drop Distance. Great, the Dream Drop Distance is fantastically important. And I know it's what I said that way. I chose that action. But just, it, it's absolutely so integral to Kingdom Hearts 3, and it is the hardest one to explain. Because that brings into the elements that a lot of us still having trouble explaining. They explain it to you. I'm not gonna ruin it now. We'll, we'll wait till 3 happens. I'm not gonna ruin it now. But it's, it's just that <laughs> the elements are so important. Um, hell, even Chain of Memory is brought up. Replicu, you know, he's going to show up and people, you know, won't even know that. I think Allison Stoner is doing it in uh, three actually as well. Did they show... Huh. Huh. It just said that Richard Epcar was Anthony and Zayn, right? Uh, I don't think it's showing up in a cutscene at all. Especially if they mean Anthony and Liza. Got an axle, so cool. I mean, no, I, in case you couldn't get it before that they were super similar, here it is spelled out. One has her hands behind, one has her front. Yeah, I, I definitely could have gotten through one more game if I had that one more one. Not even. I'm good. I'm fucking good. Yep, and here's the rest of that cutscene. Oh, did they show you? No, yeah, they should show part of that here. Forgotten child.
you know, it's so funny because when I beat it and I saw that little secret ending, I remember being like, huh, okay. And then um, <laughs> everyone else was like, who the, who the hell's that guy? Wrote the dawn. Now this player Riku. Uh, something else standard player Riku. Natural. And then proud player. There we go. <sighs> One who reigns over cards. Cool. Be a report cover, proud mode. 670 feels low, whatever. Rapid breaks in 69. Card duels. Yeah, I mean, I ran out sometimes. I need to do dark mode 54 times. And clear up just under six hours. Just that. And there's that Sora. Amazing that I beat the game with uh, way less of a level. Almost 20 levels less. So there we go. We beat it. <sighs> Wish I could combine it all, but... I'm just looking to see so short having 12 freaking minutes. Yeah, that was awesome. Yep. Alright, so that is Kingdom Hearts. Chain of Memories. It's honestly been fantastic. Like I said, I'm going to try to do one or two more things before Kingdom Hearts 3. I just really want to get through it. Just... You know, I wanted to for so long. I saved the 1.5, 2.5 remix. So I'm like, all right, beat him out. Just playing for stories on like uh, 2.8 that had 0 0.2 and stuff. <clears throat> but I was just like, you know what? I really wanted to do this for the longest time, and I honestly don't know what the trigger was to make me go, you know what, let's do it. Um, I don't know if it's because for a while I was at my shitty old job, and then after Comic-Con I started my brand new job that you know, pays more, better environment, better everything, you know. Um, a little more on gas, but that's, eh, whatever. Um, yeah. So, I really didn't want to do this a long, long time ago. I am already hit for the ending, it doesn't matter if it's the opening. <laughs> oh, those big old shoes. How do people say face my fears doesn't fit? You got your own techno beat for, you know, the first half of the game, so. Anyway. Yeah, I really want to do this, and it may be a mixture of having the old shitty job, or maybe not having enough confidence that this could work. Because of course I do have Overwatch, because every now and then I play it, I, I get so fed up unless I'm playing with friends. Because me doing solo queue, it's just like, forget it, two or three games, I'm done. Just the bullshit. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! I do still love Yu-Gi-Oh! Haven't played in person in a while. And even then it was, uh, I was teaching my, uh, younger cousin to play. So I played with him, but at that point it's still too easy. Dual Network is weird. I even completely forgot its name until, like, a, like a week or two ago. Um, but I'll still, you know, I'm still doing that. I'm like, sorry, but, uh, the DLC I didn't do. So that, that's interesting, because now... Yeah, that even though I beat Duel Monsters when I play through, you know, GX 5 to use uh, um, Zexel and then uh, Arc V, uh, it's, you know, now, now I want to have to do a separate, like, I'm doing for um, uh, Duel Monsters. I'm like, oh, just DLC duels. It's like, nope, now it's just going to be the same thing. Uh, Black Friday was cool. That's how I knew about it. <laughs> um... Yeah, and, and I don't do camera, because one, I don't really have a good webcam, it's like laptop or computer, I'm even that, nah. And then for a while, like, I don't know, 
more or less made this place more for function rather than like fashion. Um, in the room where I play, I do have a keyblade hung up above the closet. Two really cool, uh, the, the 1.5 post that we're sort of sitting down, it's that one. It was like a variant of uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 um, uh, game cover, except it's got like Axel Roxas and Nomine on it. Um, so that's cool. Um, but I don't really have anywhere specific that's like, oh, look at the completionist. He's got like a, a thing of games that he always changes for it. Or, um, I don't know, just some of the people that do it, they're like, oh, they got their statues. Uh, for Neverworld, they've got statues and other stuff in the back. And, you know, I just don't have that. Like, I have an entertainment system um, around our TV that's like, you know, like a big U. I think I mentioned it when I said about like a little shrine for Kingdom Hearts I have. And, uh, yeah, that's full of like our, all the Blu-rays and DVDs. So it's not like, oh, well, I'm going to make a weird separate shelf just for pr presentation. You know, um, any more my the the, the the uh you know my desk is it's just it's like it's facing away. Sorry, it's for for where I'm sitting. If a camera were to point back at me, point back towards me, it'd be facing the rest of the living room with like a couch and TV and that entertainment system, but so far away. So it's just like yeah, voice for now. Uh, one of these days, probably the next couple of years, um, we get a new place. So I get a one bedroom. Probably get a two. Or three, we'll see. Um, but one will be directly, like, exclusively dedicated to it. Because, uh, you know, when you're an adult, you know, you're having your house, it's, you know, we, uh, yeah, I got my posters, I got some, you know, pictures hung up, but it's not like, <laughs> it's not like, uh, what was it, when I, when I was living with my parents and I'd have, like, wall to wall, every inch covered by a poster or, you know, something like that. It's like, no, no, as, as fun as that may be, it's, you know, it's, it's time to be an adult sometimes. So, I understand. Like I said, one of these days, I can just get a room dedicated to it and do that, you know. Because if you have, like, company over, it doesn't matter. It's like, oh, hey, this is where he does his thing. That's separate from the house. The house is still great, you know. It doesn't matter. Not, like, not quite like a man cave, but more like an office. But whatever. Anyway, um, yeah. I, I mean, I feel so bad. I know the beginnings of... When I first started this with Kingdom Hearts 1, it was kind of awkward, even I'll say. You know, I was new to doing it. I felt like being by myself uh, was less than, let's say, a game drums, where, uh, um, you know, you have something to bounce off of. And even if you're focused, like if Aaron's focusing on playing, he's got Dan back there. Or, you know, back there when it was JonTron. Um, so I, I feel that sometimes. I'll, I'll admit that. I'll be honest. I feel that. Uh, especially during boss fights, I may feel more focused. Um, or, or during fights in general, I'll be more focused, but... You know, just... I really love this game. This series, I'll say. Gen memories I do like, but it's not a favorite. Um... Yeah. So, that's my tale. Um, I, I find it would be easy just to do three one-hour episodes of days, post that, and then I have every, then I have four games, out of 0 0.2, all recorded, you know, on the channel before three comes out. Because if you count this one, Chain of Memories, Days, uh, two, Birth by Sleep, Coded, uh, 0 0.2, Dream Drop Distance, and Key Back Cover. Yes, there's Unchained Key or Union Cross as it is now. Um, but obviously I'm not doing that. Um, I've never recorded from the phone. I know there's an app or something, but uh, <laughs> too much bullshit. Um, plus, I suck at editing. I would love to hire an editor. I don't know how much it costs. I'll figure that out in the future. But yeah, so since there's nine main games, even though three of them are movies, um, you know, I, I would just have it on there. Uh, so that's, you know, like something. Uh, and, and then eventually, probably once I finish Days and get to two, I'll make one playlist that's like Kingdom Hearts the series. And then just start everything there, which will probably be something either <laughs> when I leave the house and I play something for my dogs, it can be me, so it'll be like I'm close to them. Or just something in general, just when I catch up for Kingdom Hearts, play everything, it's, it's all there in one playlist. 
Right now, it would only be these two games. That's not too much. Plus, there's a little confessional at the end. There's not technically a theme so it's more channel-related. But, eh, what are you going to do? It would suck if the mic wasn't on this whole time. I don't know, rambling, and you're just sitting inside. <laughs> uh, but, what are you going to do? So, I uh, prattled on long enough to pad out this runtime, even though I really want to get all this said. Because uh, 3 is coming out. It's just seeing it on the PlayStation again to just be like, hey, you got a little more in your day so you can play this thing. And it's just like, oh. I was hoping that 1.01 update would be like, yeah, uh, you can play it now. It's cool. Yeah. If I could be lazy, I just don't want to go somewhere and get a physical copy. So, and again, we'll see if I win that HMK contest for it. So, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Any of these Gleam things I've done, I have never won them. So. But. <sighs> yeah, so that, that's that, that's the state that we're in. Um, I'm going to try to get stuff out on Tuesday of it. Um, I always feel re weird recording when my wife's around. I kind of view it not quite cringy, but it's kind of like watching your friend, or in this case, significant like other, do do their work in front of you. So like imagine like, like let's say when I used to work at a supermarket uh, back in high school, it would just be like, you do that customer service voice and you know, you're there. And you, even if you're not doing that, you know, if you're like truly just talking to a customer, cause some customers, I, like I said, I've worked it. You have to, you have to kind of put on the show like, Oh, hi, how can I help you? Blah, 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 blah. You know, you're just going to seem way more enthusiastic, even though they're a complete asshole or bitch. And, uh, you know, you can still be genuine, but it's still weird seeing someone else work. And even though I'm not getting paid for this, my, my, my goal is that hopefully by 2020, I would have enough subscribers, enough watch time to um, eventually garner monetization. Because uh, I did before. When it was 10,000 views, I had that. Hell, my um, my most uh, uh, watched video, uh, the 1010 one, uh, that's got... I forget what it's at now, but that was like more of it. I think I had at least 6,000 at the time or whatever it was. It was like, yeah, <laughs> you got this. This is like half the views right there, more than half the views. I think it's, I think it's, a, is it 9,000 already? I believe they didn't make a joke if it is. I don't know. I'll, I'll check after this is over. <sighs> but yeah. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to go now. <laughs> I actually have dinner in the, uh, in the oven. I decided to cook something special. Uh, and I got to cook the side dish along with it. It won't take too long, really. Um, I have a chicken thighs, but I uh, I cooked them special since it was a whole big pack. Um, uh, they came with ten of them. So I got two separate trays because I don't have a giant tray. Um, uh, when I had six, when I had four. Um, more or less splitting it. You know, no one says you even have to eat all of it. You know, one sitting, but it's okay. More how it's prepared. It's like splitting it. So most of them, I have um, I have olive oil, and they all had salt on it. Um, and then I would sprinkle uh, on most of the ones for mine. I did one with a few with uh, you know, pepper on it, and then a few I had this Parmesan seasoning I got from uh, the supermarket, and it tastes really good. I've added it in other like recipes before. It tastes so good. So I had that one. I had adobo with. I just call it red cap and blue cap adobo, so I did one on one for that. Um, and for my wife, she isn't exactly experimenting, likes to experiment with food. So um, I did um, mainly with adobo, but of course, butter. Oh, it's butter. Um, and of course, the salt. And I think I did one with pepper just to be like, hey, try it, you'll barely taste it. Because I remember um, when I lived with my parents, she would make something similar with the uh, chicken thighs, and it was that. The best part of that to me, because I was like, I find chicken plain sometimes unless you cook it right, um, whether it's breaded or whatever. And um, it was always like the skin. It's like almost like KFC skin. It's that 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 skin tastes so good. Of course, like the fat or whatever that you know, whatever that really is. Um, but always tasted so good. I knew it had like pepper and whatever else she threw in there. So I was trying to emulate that. You now again, I'm actually gonna go check on it right after this. Yeah, considering it's only 25 minutes long, I put that shit in for an hour, so it's fine. Just always get to check on your food. There you go, make sure it's still coming out okay. Nothing exploding. 
I'll just put my dogs and alert me if something exploded. Yep. Uh, the oldest is sleeping on top of the couch because apparently I didn't buy a cat, a dog, I got a cat. And the other one's laying on top of a dog bed that, uh, until recently, uh, when her sisters uh, left, one of the big comforters uh, that they used when they slept on the pullout. Uh, we just threw in the big dog bed, and it seems like they're chilling that more. I think it's more comfy. Even the dogs sleep on the floor, too. It's it's so funny how that show works. All right. Uh, oof, this is definitely a finale confessional if I were to title any video. Uh, so, yeah, take it with what you will. Um, please, honestly, share it if you know someone that wants to get into Kingdom Hearts. I know I'm not giving out theories and editing crazy shit like some other people, but I, I do have a lot of heart for this series. And I, I, I will always argue that and debate that with any of those bigger YouTubers than me about Kingdom Hearts. Um, don't say, like, oh, you love it more and more of a fan. I will always argue that. Because um, at least when I'm... <laughs> Before I even moved, and even after I moved, no matter where I was, anytime introducing people, you mentioned video games, Kingdom Hearts' favorite game series. You can say, like, oh, you're, you're going to bring it up all the time now. If you're talking about work and there's nothing about video games, like, if I'm talking about, like, some... I would say some do this in his 50s that I work with, and he doesn't play games. Why do I even bring it up? He wouldn't care. Of course, they ask. I'm definitely going to speak my mind about it. <sighs> anyway, share it. Like, comment, subscribe. It all helps. Subscribing for that subscribe number, commenting and liking help with uh, basically garnering attention that uh, YouTube algorithm. I know these videos I've been doing definitely aren't because it's hour long, hour and a half, two and a half like that Sora finale. Uh, so I know those aren't working with the algorithm at all. That's more like, for me personally, you know, for people I'm more or less making, like I said, family members, friends. I'm like, yeah, you guys aren't ready for three, but hey, oops, so oh, I against thing. You know, help, help you get acquainted with it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's just for fun. Uh, I'm not into the whole Game Grumps 10 minutes an episode. If I really had to pick a good number for, like, let's say, even a Game Grumps, it'd be, like, 20 to 30 would be fun. Like, when Beer Bros did Kingdom Hearts, I liked it better when they had a half hour or more episode, because it was great. It's Kingdom Hearts. I love it. Um, yeah, Markiplier, when he did, like, hour-long, um, was uh, We Happy Few, Red Dead Redemption. Well, I saw it was, like, a nine-hour Red Dead Redemption one, and I'm just like, oh, I am definitely not seeing that. Because, like I said, I stopped, like, episode two or three of his thing for that. But anyway, um, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Always helps. Really trying to grow here. In the future, like I said, I'll try to get an editor, or I'll learn it. <laughs> um, maybe an artist, because uh, the thumbnail on my channel is um, what my wife drew for me years ago when we first started dating. I forgot if I brought it up. But it's me in final form, uh, source final form. And yeah, I just scanned it. It still looks nice, but you know, get something else, a little more anime going. Same thing with the backdrop instead of doing Worlds of You, you know? So, have a great day, everybody. If you're watching this, um, enjoy Kingdom Hearts 3, because I know I am. <laughs> I'm either going to be. I'm not leaving the house Tuesday. We already went over that. We said we're, we're, we're sequestering ourselves in, we'll order in. We are not leaving that house Tuesday. It's going to be all Kingdom Hearts. Midnight hits, play it for a couple hours, maybe after the first world, go to sleep, wake up bright and early, and just play that. Hell, I may even wake up earlier than that before she wakes up and just play to record for you guys. Um, this is fantastic, seriously. Ah, I can't wait. All right. Enjoy. Be good to each other. Enjoy Kingdom Hearts 3 for sure. Every week, it's going to be a wild one. Adios.